Robert's is uh, a Scottish guy living in America. He's a, a cleaner for a corporation. You're trying to tell us that we're going to be replaced by robots? He's quite content until everything disappears, and loses his girlfriend and his job. You're fired. I'm leaving you. So he hasn't got anything at all, and therefore he kind of goes back to kind of wreak revenge. You think you're going to replace me with a robot? It all goes terribly wrong. <laughs> Celine Neville, she's not too happy with her situation with her father when she falls into being able to pay him back for basically everything he's ever done to her. He ends up shooting Neville in the leg and kidnapping his daughter. Now I want my job back, and I'm going to count to five. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five. What are you set up for? I was just trying to help. And that's kind of where the love story begins. I just drive more careful. He cut in on me. She goes off on this major um, spree with this, this poor helpless guy who doesn't know what he's gotten himself into. Kidnap for Beginners, Chapter 1. Have you even asked for a ransom yet? He loses everything, and she has everything to lose. And in the process, then they're on the they're on the long march to love. Really. Are you going to try to have sex with me? No. It didn't even cross your mind. No. Well, no. I think after transporting, this is probably an even bigger risk to be trying to tackle. You know what? What is quite a mainstream idea: the romantic comedy. Maybe we should go out. What, like on a date? I, I wanted to do something that was nice, happy ending, romance and all that. But I still wanted to maintain those kind of twists and little dark moments. I got your daughter here, and I'm going to send her back in pieces unless... Oh, I'm sorry, madam. No, I haven't got your daughter here. I have someone else's. People do want to see something that they recognise, and then you do something different with it. Because it is pretty peculiar, some of it. You are the worst kidnapper I've ever met. Well, I'm trying to do my best here under really difficult circumstances. It's not your typical love story the way these people fall in love and how they come together. There's also <laughs> these two angels. <laughs> we can do this with violence or without, it's up to you. Oh, without, please. I play an angel along with uh, Delroy Lindo, and we come down to Earth to perform divine intervention. I remember the good old days. We're newlyweds. <laughs> All you had to do was introduce a man or a woman. <laughs> Nature did the rest. Don't even ask where I'm going! Don't even imagine that I care. Doesn't work like that anymore. I mean, I think these angels in this film, what they actually, um, what they what they set out to achieve is to bring these two people together to make them fall in love. Jeopardy, Jeopardy Jackson, always works. It's just their technique is perhaps very unusual. You're gonna kill me. Yeah. <laughs> the pairing that you want to have occur, put those two people in Jeopardy. What's he gonna do with them? Shoot him in the back of the head. Would that be a problem for you? And of course, as this movie goes on, the depth of Jeopardy becomes greater and greater. She's half your size and you punch her in the face. She's got a gun! So that makes everything all right, does it? And 32 number one hit singles, Mr. Richie! There's a scene in this where I have to get up and sing a song. And they had it, so we, we, me and Cameron got up and did that. I'd like to sing this song for my beautiful wife. Um, somewhere beyond the sea, somewhere waiting for me. That's our love scene. This is where we fall in love. It's done really just old style, big movie, big dance scene. Achieving this huge dance sequence was, was a lot of fun.
when you're doing a love story, you've got to you've got to be very clear about what's interesting and what isn't. And uh, the truth is, what's interesting is your two romantic leads. It's those moments where they just look at each other like that, and it, and it's like it's everything. The movie's about love, you know, and we want these two people to fall in love, and hope, hopefully the audience will too. Well, it should be a, a good laugh. It should be quite funny, I think. It's so romantic to me. I love the love story in it. Everybody wants a life less, less ordinary than their conventional life. Everybody's dreaming.